Good morning, my friends. It is the Wednesday of Holy Week, Wednesday, March 27th. I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. Another painting by Bill Martin. This one is entitled Jealousy. I went to Hawaii and saw these incredible events called volcanoes, who in their eruption tear apart the land, demand it for their own, char it. Jealousy is when our, our desire extends beyond what we are due or what we are given. And it hurts relationships. It damages the balance of creation. And yet God makes rainbows. God makes rainbows all over the place in Hawaii. Even over our worst mistakes. As Jesus draws closer to the cross, he tells a parable to his disciples it's about a man who plants a vineyard and puts a fence around it and leases it to tenants. And when the produce has come, he sends, sends a slave to bring back his share of the produce. After all, he owns the whole vineyard. They beat the slave and send him back empty handed. So the owner sends a second slave. This one they beat over the head and, send, and insult him and send him back. The owner sends a third slave and this one they kill. Jesus asks the disciples, what do you think the owner of the vineyard is going to do to those tenants? Well, he'll wipe them out and find some new ones. Sometimes we want to take what isn't ours. We get jealous of what others have as if we should have it ourselves. And this root of jealousy causes us to become distorted in our relationships, causes our desires to become larger than they should be. We milk them. We think we need something or want something when we don't really need it at all. Our culture plays upon this covetousness, this desire to consume more and more by the bigger, by the better by the new edition, by the 2.0. And it distorts our relationship with one another and with the land that we live on. Holy Week is a chance to look at sin in the face and evil and our worst qualities. And it's a hard time, but it's a time to make amends, to be honest. It's a time to look at the powers and principalities that distort our world who are we to think that we deserve anything more than anyone else has? Who are we to think that we actually own anything? We don't own anything. We're only here for a short time. We're tenants. You think that when you die, you're going to be able to hold on to that beautiful gold watch you own? Your hand will disintegrate around it. You can't take anything with you. We don't own anything. Everything that we are given is a gift, and it's a temporary gift because we are temporary creatures. Without God's grace, we're nothing but dust. How can we be jealous of what others have when in reality, none of us have anything at all? God owns it all. We're just here for a short while. Let us pray. Almighty God, forgive us our consumption, our consumption that burns the earth, that chars the atmosphere, pollutes the waters, makes the animals sick. Forgive us. Help us to learn to live with less because we don't need so many things. Help us to gently begin to practice the art of generosity of simplicity, help us to reduce our consumption 
to learn to use less plastic, no styrofoam, to fast from the things that hurt the earth. Help us to right this broken relationship for in hurting and damaging your creation, we crucify you once more. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and to bless those who are dying. I invite you to say aloud the names of those that you love who need prayer. Give us wisdom today, Lord, to walk in your ways. Give us wisdom to make good choices. Give us the discipline to curb our desires and our jealousies. Help us to say no to ourselves. Bring peace to this troubled world, Lord Christ. Bring us peace in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.